This is a demonstration video of the Pi record player. I'm just going to demonstrate it so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. First thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck, here and here. Screw those fully down clockwise so the deck floats on its springs and remember to unclip the arm. On the front are the controls for volume and tone and the mains power switch is on and off automatically when the deck stops and starts. Stop start switch is here, speed control here and size detection automatic via the trip lever here. So you can load between one and six records, I'll demonstrate with two just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stacker arm across and turn the right hand control knob all the way around to start the auto change. Turn the right hand control knob all the way around again if you want to skip to the next record. Just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. When you stack a 10 or 12 inch record, this is the size selector lever, so make sure the record is stacked above the lever, like so. the arm lifts off automatically when it reaches the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and want to play one record manually at a time, you can just place an individual record down the spindle onto the mat, like so, and you can either, if it's a 7 inch record, with the stacker bar left in the upright position, you can select the auto function, that's for 7 inch only, or for all of the records you can select the manual option which starts the turntable turning and then place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, lower the stacker bar down and it will switch off at the end. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar left in the upright position as shown here, that triggers the repeat function, which is again for 7 inch singles only, and it will replay the same 7 inch over again automatically. So hopefully that covers everything for you, but if you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my email address in with the machine, and please use that method to contact me.